The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am James Kincaid, alongside the television champion, timeless Levi Shapiro, and timeless one, how is Howdy Price going to survive in a tag team match with you taking on Anthony Idol and Jack Cartwright? Well, Bimbo, it's quite simple. Howdy Price has a technical prowess that is unmatched here in the United Wrestling Network, and that's simply all I need to say unmatched well hopefully Levi's been teaching him some moves from mid-south but in our main event it is Dan Joseph challenging Ray Rosas for the Arizona State Championship two workhorses of championship wrestling going at it so sit back relax and enjoy Welcome to Championship Wrestling we've been joined in the broadcast position here by Heritage Champion Richie Slade Flex McCallion collectively Beef Candy welcome back where have you been? Uh, we, we don't really need to tell you that, TK, but uh, I'll let it out of the bag. We've been back home in Candyland, yeah. yeah. and uh, we've been working on our coating. You can see this nice brown, illustrious color right there. Mm -hmm. So you've been tanning. Yeah. In other words, yeah. yeah. All okay. right. Well, we've got more action to come, and uh, you're welcome to join us and you know, give I, us I, your thoughts. Honestly, that wasn't, that wasn't good enough as far as an introduction to us. Uh, Let's do it right. Yeah, do you see what he's holding right here? Yeah, let's do it's it the right. golden ticket. This is the golden ticket. And this, this is how you speak to this man? Hey, he is the You're heritage champion. You're introducing the succulent Hollywood heritage champion. Get it right. Hollywood heritage champion, as I said. And, and come on with it. Let me hear the beef. Beef? No. No, no, no. More emphasis. Come on. Yeah, get okay, out of it. Get your beef candy. We beef! Todd, what? No, your beef candy. Bimbo, you disappoint me. Beef candy. I'm I tried. Say beef. Here, here, follow say along with us, okay. okay? Let us show you how it's done. Beef candy. Beef candy. Beef candy. I don't think we there, can talk that. That's a little. That's a little better. All right, we're trying. Yeah. Back to the action, guys. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the hills of Pomp and Sop, weighing in at 180 pounds, Honest John. And Flex, Richie, I, I gotta tell you, I didn't know what to make of Honest John when we first saw him. He had a couple tough matches, but really showed something last week. Faced McGill and then put on one heck of an effort and performance in that tag team title main event. It, it, was, it was something, TK. I mean, uh... We watched it. We saw what it was. Uh, compared to uh, the everlasting Richie Slade, nothing. Nothing compares that But far. I will say, I like the fire in the kid. He reminds me a little bit, a little bit of a young Richie Slade. Charismatic. Uh, he's good looking. Maybe not as good looking Richie, as I. Richie's but... never worn a bandana on his head. Yeah. Or would he ever, though. Let's just keep that in mind. And he was tough. He showed that he had a tough candy shell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This so coating is there, but it's not quite hardened enough. Yeah. TK, I'm get disappointed. harder yeah. than that. He's got potential, though. And introducing his opponent from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing at 175 pounds. Phoenix's favorite son, EJ Sparks. I keep looking. Uh, EJ Sparks staring daggers over here, gentlemen. You certainly have some history with EJ Sparks. Laid him out after a match at one point, and that kind of was the catalyst to your issues with Jordan Clearwater, which eventually led to you winning, if you can use that term loosely, the Heritage title. Had some help in that maniac, Jack Banny. No help. No, what are you no talking help, about? No help. Jack had a mission, and he did what he had to do. It just happened to be the timing that it was, TK. Yeah. Must admit that it's been quite some time since you defended the Heritage title. Last time out, it was against Sweet Robin Shaw. And, uh, Which was a successful yeah. defense. 
Are you per it was indeed. Are you perhaps scouting potential challengers? You know, as to what I'm doing here, really is nobody's business. But yeah, sure. I'm looking for I'm looking for a challenge. I'm the type of challenge I'm the type of champion that I'm willing to go out there and give anyone a shot. He's he's a fair he's a fair man. You know, John John might be honest, but Richie Slade is fair. He is a fair guy, and that's why, yes, if you must know, TK, we are out here to watch these potential, I, I like to call them Skittles. I mean, you got green, you got pink, whatever. They, they look like candy poppers. But the idea is, yeah, we're watching them to see what they could possibly do in the ring. It would make Richie look better if he beats these beautiful dudes. I mean... Well, if you face, you face EJ Sparks in that kickboxing background, James Kincaid, you're not going to be tasting the rainbow. You're going to taste a kick right to the kisser. Yeah, you'll have your hands full with EJ Sparks. Just one ha Oh, no, it looks like looks like Honest John maybe hurt, it, hurt his knee. A asking for the, the knee pad to be taken off. And again, think of the action this guy saw last week with Miguel yeah. and then that maybe temporarily dislocated the knee. Oh! oh, oh disingenuous. Wow. Oh. John. I like this kid. Yeah, yeah, that, was, that was a you, good one. Oh, oh, I think, yeah, what, I stop. Like this kid. Flex, what are you writing? Are you writing that into your playbook? Uh, no, no, no. I, I was just I was taking notes on, on what to, uh, look, see, his calisthenics are How's obviously his form? something that, uh, it's, it's on point. It's okay. His elbows could have been a little lower for that little, double bicep, yeah. but I mean, everything else looks like it's, it's pretty going pretty well. Oh, what a shot, though, from EJ Sparks. Oh, man. Oh, he's looking for that spark out. Oh, this thing's over before it begins, guys. Wow. Out of nowhere, wow. EJ Here Cotter. Here is that your winner, fast. EJ That was Sparks. dirty, and that was cheap. This thing was over quicker than Big League Chew loses its flavor. Let's take a look back at the action. The faint knee there uh, of the injury by Honest John. He tried. He honestly did. But then into that eventual spark out, by the champion. It honestly didn't work out, TK. And we, we, we witnessed that, we bear witness to that. I, I thought the whole time he kind of looked like a Tamagotchi pet. And I think this really this really puts forward that uh, yeah. he is someone that you just move left and right. All right, right. I know you guys would love to keep talking, but Emily May is standing by for a word from EJ Sparks. Wow, EJ, that was another incredible win. So much athleticism out there. You know, what are you feeling as your next step as you're looking at championship wrestling? If I may. Yeah, go ahead. You guys are real funny guys, ain't you? You think yeah. I'm deaf? You think I can't hear what you're saying about me out here? Over here trying to sneak this, be real funny guys. I know that's all y'all want to do is run around here and be funny and act like a bunch of morons. Morons? Well, let me tell you what I want. Strong words? You ask me what my next step is. I want that title right there. Uh -huh. So, Richie Slade, this is officially me challenging you for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. If you really want this, EJ, let me tell you, what, let me tell you a little something. When you woke up this morning, I'm sure you had this idea in your mind from a dream that perhaps you had, and it was just a dream about you carrying the Heritage Championship. But let me break your little heart. That's all it's going to be. It's going to stay that way as your little dream because you're not good enough you're good but you're not richie slade good you're not beef candy good candy candy i think you just accepted my challenge buddy no no actually we did we, we did we what's care. it gonna be guys <laughs> thrown down the gauntlet it was ej sparks are you gonna answer is that an affirmative we're going to have to find them. More questions than answer here. Will there be a meeting between the Heritage Champion and Phoenix's favorite son down the line? I, for yeah. one, would love to see that matchup. It's just a dream. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. More to come here on yeah, Championship. Gummy worms, TK. Oh, oh, oh. So tired of you. Okay. Gums. Gummy worms it is. Yeah, uh, all right. Thanks for that. Nice. Yeah. You want one, too? Yeah, you know what? I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. 
Over the last 12 years, you've helped my pillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got my pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heating, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Agua Dulce, California, weighing at 350 pounds, Sweet Robin Shaw! Sweet Robin Shaw getting set for action. I think he's turned from sweet to salty in a hurry. A whole new attitude ever since turning his back on the Friendship Farm and did it in emphatic fashion with that big belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Gentleman Jervis. Yeah, I mean, it really took, I think, all of us unaware, certainly, most notably, the Friendship Farm themselves. But yeah, a new bad attitude for Robin Shaw. Heartbreaking, to say the least. And introducing his opponent from the Galapagos Islands, weighing it at 190 pounds, the Punk Rock Poindexter, Darwin Finch. Darwin Finch uh, out here. and. and is there anything sadder than a downtrodden gentleman, Jervis? There, there really isn't. It looks like Darwin Finch trying to egg on Jervis, but Jervis seeing Robin Shaw, who is trying to beckon him to the ring, saying no dice on that, might just be too hard for him right now to face this. I think it's just too soon. I mean, after that heartbreaking betrayal by sweet Robin, uh, gentleman just can't face him, can't, can't face what, and, and come to grips with what happened. Uh, you know, they were such a tight-knit faction for so long. Jervis's whole life built in the Friendship Farm. So we've got a matchup here with the Punk Rock Poindexter, Darwin Finch, a uh, member of the Friendship Farm as well. But it, it seemed like ever since Finch joined the ranks that, you know, you s started to see that aggression uh, bubble up for Sweet Robin, and then it really uh, exploded violently, as we know. Yeah, maybe perhaps some seeds of, of jealousy or, you know, things that we just don't have insight on yet that we haven't gotten to hear from Robin Shaw about it. Well, I think it's because he, you know, Finch wasn't able to come up with those cotton candy plants that Sweet Robin wanted so badly and it asked for. Of planted. Wow. All the body weight down. Well, you talk about chemistry and fusion. That was some big fusion there by the big man, Sweet Robin. And this thing might be over in a hurry, James. Yeah, and you, you hear Robin Shaw, he was laughing in there. Again, this whole just new demeanor, it, he's, he's still showing that smile, but it's in a much sicker fashion. 
than we're used to seeing from Sweet Robin Shaw. Screams of pain there by the scientist Darwin Finch. He's going to have to come up with some sort of a pain alleviation elixir or something after this. He knows that he's in for a long time. Tough battle in there with Sweet Robin trying to fight back. But man, Robin is such a powerhouse. And now that he's now that he's more aggressive, he's more he used to be fun loving. Yeah. Now he's more dangerous than ever. It, incredibly dangerous. I mean, it's survival of the fittest in there right now. And right now, it, Robin Shaw is proving to be at the top of the food chain and just taking it to Darwin Finch. Look at this, just devastating cross face shots there. You could see the change in expression on Sweet Robin. I mean, a, a switch has flipped in the big guy. Yeah, it's it's you know it's terrible to see in him because the Friendship Farm. There were a lot of people's just favorite acts to see out there. They were fun loving. They were so happy go lucky. And and now Robin Shaw has just ruined all. Of it. Look at this shot after shot, forearms and chops, and Finch. Finch. Just bowing up here, he's had enough. Not gonna be bullied any longer and starts to return fire. Finch hanging really tough in there. Might have gotten woken up by some of those shots, launching himself into Robin Shaw, changing the momentum, turning the tide of this matchup. All kinds of fired up. Talk about a Bunsen burner. That's what we're seeing here out of the Punk Rock Point Duster. Point and sling blade there. Gotta follow up though if, if you're you're Finch. Yeah, you got the big man down. That's step one. Step two is trying to keep him there. Oh, nobody home. Was looking for that electron orbit. Oh. There it is. Sweet victory. Turns him inside out and admiring his handiwork. Yeah, admiring his handiwork. He could be ending this match. Look, Finch is just laying limp in that ring, and Robin Shaw is loving it. Finch not moving. Completely out after that sweet victory after the Electron Orbit came up empty. No covalent bond there. And now look out here, looking for oh that sweet God. embrace. Spikes the scientist into the cover. It's academic. Tag him, bag him. Here is your winner, Sweet Robin Shaw. We take a look at the replay brought to you by Zebra Talk. It's a great group of pro wrestling referees and you can support them at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Zebra Talk. Darwin Finch misses with the Electron Orbit, then the Sweet Victory, and adding a huge weapon in that Sweet Embrace victory for Robin Shaw. Emily, standing by. Congrats, Robin, on the win. So what are your next steps now that the Friendship Farm has broken up? Do you think that friendship can be saved? I think I just proved that I've gone scorched earth on the friendship farm. Friendship is dead to me. I am not replaceable, Jervis. What's up, y'all? It's Ice-T. Now, you never know what's going to go wrong with your car. It could be a transmission. could be the timing chain or that check engine light. Now, can I tell the future? Absolutely not. But I do know it's not a matter of if your car will break down, but when. And before that happens, you should call my friends at Car Shield. Their administrators pay for expensive car repairs, so you don't have to. And that's the truth. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. Their administrators have paid out over a billion dollars in claims and cover most vehicles from 5,000 to 150,000 miles. If it wasn't for Car Shield, I would have paid a lot of money out of pocket and I would have been too happy. When I bought my used car, I didn't expect any problems right away. But when it broke down, I'm glad I had Car Shield. Another truth, I drive with Car Shield. Just like you, it goes against my principles to throw money away. I wasn't always famous, and who doesn't love saving money on expensive car repairs? Car Shield is like a guard dog protecting my wallet, which gives me real peace of mind when I drive and you can take that to the bank. With coverage through CarShield's administrators, you'll receive 24-7 roadside assistance, courtesy towing, rental reimbursement at no additional charge. Plus, with CarShield's nationwide coverage network, you can choose the mechanic or dealership of your choice no matter where you are. So in one year, I saved $2,500. That's amazing. I don't worry about car breakdowns because I have CarShield. 
Some of y'all sitting at home might end up just like me, walking. Especially if you get hit with a huge car repair bill you can't afford. Or you could call my friends at CarShield and see that saving money on expensive car repairs is really a smart move. Protect yourself now against expensive auto repair bills. Call CarShield for a free and instant protection plan quote. Once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 800-319-4849. That's 800-319-4849. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So, which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a four-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate. And a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670. 1-800-768-2670. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? It's time to take control. With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. The first step is to understand the benefits available through the private health insurance policy. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. You'll find out about coverage for detox, residential programs, out-of-state facilities, paid time off. We've helped thousands of families just like yours. Let us help you today to understand the insurance benefits for drug and alcohol addiction treatment. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-442-1204. That's 1-800-442-1204. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, Viva Van! Viva Van returned to action in the women's division last week, picked up an impressive victory over the gutsy Milo Matters, but that was just the beginning of things. Had a bit of a reunion of sorts with the Keller Bay, Heather Monroe. Yeah, if you want to call it that, it was more keep my name out of your mouth, Heather Monroe. And this is sort of, a, in a weird way, a, a match over maybe accepting an apology, proving intentions from Heather Monroe to, to accept this match from the Hellbent Vixen, Viva Van. And introducing her opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Halston Body. She is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. And Heather Monroe has really been looking out for the women's division. You'll recall that, you know, she initially warned CC Chanel about signing that contract, a contract that obviously ended up being very derogatory to the to the career of CC Chanel and pretty much holding her against her will. Yeah, under the thumb of Jamie Iovine. And, you know, Heather Monroe said it. You know, things have changed around here. And Heather Monroe, the lethal accessory, Halston body, they've been fighting, fighting and fighting for this women's division. And then Viva Van making the challenge just last week. And Heather Monroe saying, you know what? If this match will, keep, will make you think twice about signing that contract, which Viva Van was offered, apparently a contract as well then I'll, t I'll give you any kind of match you want, and here we go. And even with all the other factors in play, this should be one heck of a contest in the women's division and could have, after the victory by Van last week, 
could really have implications down the line for the eventual women's title in the United Wrestling Network. Yeah, could shift the balance of power in that division. And again, a trial of combat over intentions between these two. Wrist control there by Viva Van springing in and a nice takedown by the Killer Bay and now transitions to strikes effectively. Little Escalera here into the arm drag by Viva Van. Nicely done. You know, going back to some of those Lucha exploits, which she really utilized a lot early in her career. Yeah, seeing that, that Lucha influence, but Heather Monroe right back at it, cartwheeling, but nobody home. Now Viva Van showing that newfound aggression. These two know each other so well because they faced each other in the squared circle and they've teamed up in the past. You know, uh, hold on. Nice neck breaker there by Viva Van. And last week, Heather Monroe admitted that she wasn't quite so nice to Viva during that time. Here's the cover after the neck breaker. Yeah, it was, it was more one of those wanting to take Viva Van off the board as a rival, not really a true partnership. And Viva Van has just looked tremendous since returning to championship wrestling. Really has, just returned with a vengeance. And, uh, you know, taking on really the top of the women's division here in Heather Monroe. Heather Monroe mentioning that best of seven series with Lacey Ryan that never came to a conclusion and commenting that Lacey Ryan ran off and changed her name. And look at this now. The leg sweep follows up and that attack in the... Wait, wait a second. <laughs> never fear. Never fear. Jamie's oh. here. Heather, first off, this is done. This is done. This is done, I said. We're, oh, I, great. Leave. This is done? He's, he's really is done. taking lessons from Nico checks. Marquez. This match is over. Hit the brakes. Jane, saying the match is over? Remember when Nico tried to kill off the women's division, would call off matches, and now uh, I have been doing much the same. First off, don't you take another step forward. I got my guy Tweak here. He's done worse for less. Stay put, all right? Now. Jim, my ears have been burning. I hear the chatter. You've been talking about me. And how can, I, how can I doubt you? I mean, a lot of your success is contributed to what was the upper class. But why are you complaining, Heather? We've done so much for you. The women's division is back. There's a title on the way. What? But first off, I've been thinking. What makes you even think you deserve this spot, Heather? What makes you even think that you deserve gold? You know that I built this division from the ground up. Get her out of my you face, know. please. You know Get that I did all this face. on my own. Oh, this is CeCe Chanel again. Doing the bidding of Iovine. She did for Nico Marquez, now for Iovine. Again, because of that sham of a contract that she signed. Yeah, against her will, reluctant but still having to go about for own, screaming in the face of Iovine. I mean, you, CC Chanel doesn't want to do this. She knows it, it's detrimental to the women's division if she does. Detrimental to the division, but she's trying to preserve her career. Listen, you have two choices. That or this. Think about it. Iovine, given the ultimatum there, and, and, and yeah, you know, Tweak is Eddie on the leave. outside. Give me a break. So what? You're gonna you're gonna be the hired help of Iovine, or you're gonna you know stand up against? Are you gonna be part of the solution or part of the problem? As the Killer Bay said last time out, a lot of moving parts. We'll be back. None moving more than Tweak is Eddie. Give me a break. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let VCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective VCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 
1-800-913-0649. That's 1-800-913-0649. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath and Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. This is a national health care alert from the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one has diabetes, listen closely. Now, regardless of your age, if you have insurance, you may qualify to receive diabetic testing supplies with little to no out-of-pocket cost. Get free delivery, free information, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers for free. Call the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline now for details. Toll free at this number. But wait, there's more. If you call right now, you could get a meter upgrade. In addition, we'll give you a free pair of diabetic socks as our special gift to you. Regardless of your age, if you suffer with diabetes and have insurance, you may qualify to get free delivery of your supplies. Call now. We can help. Call 1-800-216-0543. 1-800-216-0543. That's 1-800-216-0543. Call now. If you currently do not get health insurance through your employer, or if you do not have health insurance, or if you just got divorced or married, had a baby, moved, or lost your health insurance coverage, listen closely. You are eligible for a new health care plan using Health Insurance America. Get coverage for doctor visits, prescriptions, hospital, dental, and vision for as little as $25 a week with co-pays as low as $0. Talk to a live health care consultant right now. 1-800-615-0487. Yeah, she was that. Woo! Oh, baby! Jamo! Listen, door. hey! Man, what is it gonna do? What is it gonna take for four minutes of heat to get another title shot? Okay. Come on, baby. I asked Come you on. repeatedly. We'll do it! The door, but I, I we just need one minute. One minute of rest. That's all I ask. But I'm feeling good today. It's a good day today. The sun's out. So, gentlemen, yeah, I've never met you before, but you seem like you have a lot of fire. A lot of passion. So what I'm going to do is next week, you're going to have a tag match. Next week, and my man Tweak here is going to accompany you guys. What? Yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Well, He's going to look for an opportunity. Yeah. This is it. Oh, opportunity. Yes. And if you win, so many more opportunities are going to open up for you guys. Oh. So many more chances. Yes. And yeah. you'll yeah. be your manager full time. Oh. Come on. What's better than that? We'll take it. All right. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Yeah! Quinn, yeah. <laughs> well, gentlemen, you'll ride with you. You'll make me happy. That's all right. Enjoy. Good Good Hey, but thank you, my friend. Hey, okay. are you gonna be okay without me? Yes, I will. Well, sure. Tweet. Tweet. Listen, don't call me. I'll call you. I'll be fine if you call me. It might get weird, so I'll call you first. Okay. okay. All right? We don't like that. Enjoy. But I, I run this place, man. I feel like you're gonna fall apart without me. But yeah. if you're okay, I'll I'm okay. Be and okay. then we'll be okay. Yep, yep, we'll be okay. okay. Yes. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 461 pounds, the team of Jack Cartwright and the Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol. What a unique tag team encounter we have coming our way and what a team this is. Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol has really taken Jack Cartwright under his wing, James. And that's paid dividends. Cartwright's just got a whole new level of confidence. Yeah, you, you're seeing the results already. And, you know, good on Anthony Idol being willing to pass down that knowledge and pass down, like you said, that confidence, that belief. And you see it already written on Jack Cartwright. But you, you also hit the nail on the head. Very unique tag team matchup that we have coming our way. Levi and Howdy. I'm interested to see how this is going to go down. Cannot wait. And introducing their opponents, the team of Howdy Price and the United Television Champion, Timeless Levi Shapiro. Quite the tandem we have here. Howdy Price, his hand forced to get into this matchup due to Jamie Iovine just having enough of the shenanigans. You know what, maybe the best decision of Jamie Iovine's career is to make this matchup come up and hopefully on the way for Howdy Price and Levi Shapiro. Well, they were between a rock and a hard place. It was either take this tag team matchup 
or Levi was going to be stripped of the United Television title and suspended to boot. I was wondering what Howdy Price would wear in the ring. Well, we have our answer. It's not a singlet. It's a quadruplet. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. But, yeah, the choice that Jamie Iovine offered them was really no choice at all for the two gold coveters in the ring, Levi Shapiro and Howdy Price. And this, of course, stemming from the recent title defense of Shapiro taking on the man who's in the ring right now, the neon phenomenon, Anthony Idol, just trying to take advantage of the official. And then, uh, you know, I, don't, I just don't think Jamie Iovine took kindly to the demeanor when they barged into the office talking about Shapiro and Howdy Price. And like you said, too, the antics. I think enough is enough. And it was time, just time to get a little bit of payback. You see, Howdy doesn't look very comfortable there on the apron. Well, we'll see. You know, it wasn't that long ago when Alston Body was in attack. Imagine he actually had some offense in there. Hopefully, do uh, he and Heather Monroe getting the victory. And oh, what a shot there by the Neon Phenomenon and a bit of a bionic elbow to follow up. When this big man gets rolling, look out. Oh, big time back. Body drop from the Neon Phenomenon. And he's. Had a few tilts recently with Levi Shapiro. Let me ask you this, James. Is that what he means when he says he's making the loops? <laughs> it's what he means now. Now in comes Jack Cartwright. And again, just a whole different confidence. He's really come out of his shell. I mean, in the past, he had a lot of flash when it came to his offense. But now, I think he's a little bit more measured. You see, the striking wasn't really a big part of his arsenal. I think that uh, the neon phenomenon has had a real impact. Yeah, maybe maybe not quite as frenetic, a little bit more controlled from Jack Cartwright. Remains to be seen. Here we go, though. A little bit of poetry drop kick right there, courtesy of the assist of the neon phenomenon. Well, that's a big uh, platform to uh, vault off of. Scoop and a slam by the big man. And look at this, a little agility by Idol comes with the Flying fist, Idol's such a student of the game over the years. He, he really is, and again, it's passing down that knowledge to Jack Cartwright. You can already see, just, oh, what a stiff shot from Levi Shapiro, putting a stop to Cartwright right there. And uh, just, uh, we have to expect Levi Shapiro, he's gonna have to do the bulk of the work of this one. No tags yet made to Howdy Price. Oh, I spoke too soon. In comes Howdy Price. Well, Howdy Price certainly has the uh, weight advantage over Jack Cartwright. Oh, look at this. Pulling out all the stomps, you might say. I think that might be, he's gonna be working with a very limited arsenal, I would expect, is Howdy Price, but uh, making the most of it. Hey, you know, I'll tell, I'll tell you this though. I mean, sound strategy, you take out the wheels of Jack Cartwright, you take away a lot of that acrobatics. I can't believe what I'm seeing, that Howdy Price is, is able to hold his own as well as he has here. I know it's just been a few moments. <laughs> he's trying to pick a body part and a big strike, and that's gonna do it for Howdy. Oh. Yeah, discretion's the better part of valor for Howdy Price. You know what, though? It did give Levi Shapiro a chance to regroup a little bit, and now look at the uh, the results. The big suplex now quickly into the cover. Do you think they're going to, I would imagine, that Shapiro and Howdy Price are going to try and isolate Cartwright here. But look at the quickness. That, that seems like the sound play, absolutely. Divide and conquer, take advantage oh, of a small Cartwright. Off the top, Moonsault Press. He's got him hooked. He got him. Oh my goodness! Here are <laughs> your winners, the team of Anthony Idol and Jeff Cartwright! Cartwright wins! I Cartwright wins! Cartwright wins! <laughs> I'm beside myself! Out of nowhere! Cartwright just with a flash off the top rope. Caught him looking! Well, weak link, I guess not. We thought that they might want to isolate Cartwright in there. Comes up with the moonsault press and the one, two, three, upset city. Shocker from Jack Cartwright. Howdy Price and Levi Shapiro, they're beside themselves. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. Maybe Howdy should have stayed in there. Maybe they would have fared better. If you blinked, you missed it. Go on, celebrate, you two. Paying dividends. Neon Talk Phenomenon and Jack Cartwright. Talked about that confidence. A Car Cartwright certainly paid off here. What a victory in this wild tag team encounter. Still to come, the Arizona State Championship on the line in our main event next.
Attention! If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Emily May here at Championship Wrestling with Richie Slade, the Hollywood Heritage Champion, and Flex McCallion, Beef Candy. Wow, so EJ Sparks is challenging you for the title. Are you worried uh, that- Can you stop your chewing and let the man with the golden ticket give you that silver tongue that he speaks so well? EJ Sparks, worried? No. Because at the end of the night, I'm gonna walk out the same way I walked in as your succulent Hollywood heritage champion. Yeah. And EJ Sparks is going to be real full by the end of the day because he's going to get a heaping serving of beef candy. Yeah, baby. It is main event time here on Championship Wrestling. Todd Kennelly, James Kincaid here with you for the call of the action. Two of the most decorated stars in the history of the United Wrestling Network gonna hook it up for the Arizona State Championship. One title that Dan Joseph has never held, former tag team champion. And uh, hold on here. They, that's the last time we got, Dan got a little hot under the collar, yeah. so making amends. Making good, which Form Dan Joseph is want to do. Of course, Dan Joseph, former United Television title holder as well. Can he hit the trifecta? Well, grab your pail, because you're going to be going to work in the ring with Dan Joseph. Love his attitude and just how hardworking he is in that ring. Should be a great contest. And here comes the champion, veteran Ray Rosas. I mean, the history he's had on this program, tag team title holder, with pretty Peter Avalon back in the day, became great adversaries as well. Won the PP3 Cup, became the Heritage Champion, and defends the Arizona State Championship here in our main event. As you mentioned, what a contest this looks to be. Two of the very best dance under the bright lights 
here in our main event. And the champion looks battle ready. And momentarily, our own Adnan Qureshi will state, set the stage for this high stakes championship main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Arizona State Championship. Introducing first, a challenger from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 211 pounds, Dan Joseph! Woo! Come with me, man. You know it, Ray. Come on. And introducing okay. his opponent okay. from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 202 pounds, he is the Arizona State Champion, Ray Rosas! That's what it's all about, Arizona State. Title on the line, playing some licks on the title guitar. Yeah, having a little fun there, but these are two guys, you know I like to say it, they really embody no hocus pocus, just focus. And I know Ray Rosas, he's lost a lot. Allies, you know, he's been had the Heritage Championship taken away from him, but he's still got that Arizona State title, and he has gained maybe so much more, a lot of respect in how he has pushed yeah. forward. No doubt about it. Winning titles has been his business. Business throughout his time here in the United Wrestling Network has been very good, but likewise for the challenger. Handshake offer, and Dan Joseph, the former television champion, has been frustrated as of late, and who could blame him? You know, lost a couple rematches with Levi Shapiro. Looking to put it away early here with uh, fundamental wrestling is Dan Joseph. Then thought he was going to get another shot at the television title at episode 500 to have to face not only Levi Shapiro, but also Jesse James. So the odds were stacked against him, and now looking for the, for the victory easy. He doesn't want to leave anything up to chance, does the challenger. Yeah, no, not at all. And yeah, Dan Joseph, been frustrated, but how can you rally back? Don't let it, don't let it fester. Can you rebound here? And that's what I think uh, Dan Joseph... Dan Joseph is going to need to display against Ray Rosas. I think you're right. I think he does need to refocus. He needs to be the hungry Dan Joseph that defeated Royce Isaacs for the television title, put it on the line against the likes of Shapiro himself, Dom Kubrick, live on pay-per-view on Primetime Live. He wants to get back to that. But it's not going to be easy to do because Ray Rosas knows every trick in the book. He's written a lot of them. He's a wily veteran. And, I mean, you saw Watts was the heritage champion for over a calendar year. Who defeated him for that title? Ray Rosas now puts the Arizona State title on the line, feeling out process because you don't want to make a pivotal early mistake in this one, James. Yeah, I think both these guys have so much respect for one another, know what they each bring to the table. Now the top wrist lock here by Ray Rosas. Spurtly applied, Rosas in control right now. Joseph though able to slip out of it now. Yep, into the hammer lock. And, and again, you know, you talk about that frustration. Recently, it got the best of, of Dan Joseph. You know, just making a scene out here, kicking the steps, kind of getting in Adnan Qureshi's face a little bit. You know, I mean, a uh, ring announcer. Completely just, out of character for somebody like Dan. Absolutely, absolutely. Dan Joseph is, is a, you know, a wrestler's wrestler. You know, he loves good competition. In the time, he was a great analyst here on the commentary table. He's so good-natured, always has a smile on his face. And that hasn't been the case lately. And now that great leverage by the champion to deposit the challenger to the outside. Our title match continues right after this. Can your kitchen knife do this? How about this? Well, now it can. Born of the Forge with a heart of steel and fire is a once-in-a-lifetime knife inspired by the hit TV show Forged in Fire. So sharp and so strong, it will cut everything in your kitchen, frozen or fresh. Forged in Fire's knives, surgical steel construction and razor sharp edge literally shatters the competition. And that means no more bashing bread or terrorizing your turkey. Each knife is hammered right out of the forge and comes professionally sharpened so you can tear through your T-bone and even fillet your fish. Make salads speedy and simple, then finish with your fruits. 
its professional ergonomic handle won't slip, even chopping this frozen solid block of ice. And that torture won't dull its precision sharpness. Amazing! Professional chefs know a sharper knife is a safer knife because you cut exactly where you need to. Your food, not your fingers. Let's watch that again. That's a sharp knife. It may be the last knife you'll ever buy. And we'll hand number each limited edition item to commemorate your purchase. Professional knives like this can cost over $300, but you won't pay that. Now you can get the 8-inch surgical stainless steel forged in fire chef's knife for the low, low price of only $29.95. And when you order now, you'll get the forged in fire paring knife absolutely free for razor sharp results with your fruits and vegetables. And that's not all. Order a second set of knives right now and we'll give you free shipping on the entire order. And all Forged and Fire Knives come with our 50-year guarantee. But you must order now. To order, call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Don't wait. Call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to mypillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Welcome back, everyone, to our main event, Arizona State Championship on the line throughout the break. More fundamental wrestling give and take between champion and challenger, and right now with this front face lock, north-south position, Dan Joseph has the advantage. He has the advantage right now, but both of these competitors, neither one of them have left the door open for the, the next gear to hit. Neither one wants to make a mistake. Joseph, though, just grinding Ray Rosas at the moment. Saw that... Saw that, that gator roll as well, and so tough and freakishly strong is Dan Joseph. He really is. Really is. He was a hockey player in his native Buffalo, New York. I mean, like I said, this guy's a man's man. He is. It's tough as they come. Northern Lights suplex the other way and holding on. Holding on to that front face lock even after eating that suplex. To wit, what you were saying, deceptively strong, double tough. And Dan Joseph has had a big impact over the years on championship wrestling from Arizona as well. He competed there. He defended the television title there. And, and hold on, going for the cover. History to be made. Not yet. Only a count of two, says Allison Lee. Dan Joseph, longtime commentator, commentator for championship wrestling from Arizona as well. So that Arizona State title would be right at home around his waist. It would be a tremendous milestone for Dan Joseph. I think that's why he has sort of refocused and set his eyes upon that. And he knows that he's got a competitor that he can respect and Ray Rosas to try and take it from. Float over into the cover. Rosas shoots the shoulder up before a count. And Rosas is just grounded by Dan Joseph. And how, is there gonna be desperation for Rosas? You, you talked about he lost so much. The PP3 Cup is somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, thanks to SoCal distancing. He lost the Heritage title to the, jo to the golden boy Jordan Clearwater and then eventually now Richie Slade the champion. This is the last piece of gold, the last piece of hardware, the last piece of jewelry, as Blake Troop would say, that he's got. So you gotta know that he's gonna do everything in his power to hold on to it. Yeah, it's sort of the, the last vestige of his almost previous life and, and the, the one that he has clung on to very tightly. He is a fighting champion as is on display right now here against Dan Joseph in this main event. Rose is putting the brakes on Dan. Fighting back now into the suplex goes the champion. Nice counter after lowering his levels. And Dan Joseph, like I said, he's a man's man. He does it the right way. He's always played by the rules in there. I know we're, we're supposed to be impartial, but that's one thing that has made Dan Joseph one of my personal favorites. You know what you're going to get out of him. That's why when he, you know, he, he let it boil over. He got the best of him, but, you know, we saw him. He made nice with Adnan at the start of this. I think he's got it back under control. You know, Dan Joseph isn't going to, isn't going to have a manager's help or isn't going to load a glove to win or hold on to a title like a Levi Shapiro has. You know, he's not going to use flex, you know, like, like a Richie Slade might do. Yeah, he's not about the path of least resistance. He's about putting in the work and doing things the right way, like you said. 
And I think that's why this is a great opportunity because he's in there with a great professional wrestler and champion in Ray Rosas who will give him a fair shot at the title. In an aspect of Ray Rosas that he has re rediscovered now. And so the, the, these two both are going to bring that and are bringing that in the ring right now. And certainly that wasn't always the case with Ray Rosas. No. That, that side is back. Wow, arm breaker there into the cover. Well, that, that's why I say, you know, with everything that Ray has lost, Maybe he's gained some things that are more meaningful. He has gained his soul back, a, me a measure of that, and some respect in the locker room. Well, he's regained that, that composure, that class, and losing his composure lately has been Dan Joseph. But this is a, just a great you know, uh, wrestling match here. Back and forth, evenly matched competitors doing battle for the goal. What a shot that was to a grounded opponent by Ray Roses. He uncorked a big yet. shot there, yes. You know, it's just, it's so refreshing just to see a technical classic like this. No one bending the rules, just two guys going out to prove who's the best in that ring. Well, that's the foundation that the United Wrestling Network was built upon. And, and uh, these two living up to that moniker. Reversal here sends them in hard and heavy, does the champion Ray Rosas. Little bit of smash and dash. Picking up the tempo is Ray Rosas. Uh-oh, and he might be thinking, thinking, thinking of dropping that big elbow. That's been one of his favorites over, over the years. Since the earliest days of championship wrestling, space is the place. And out of the way there, had it well scouted. Nice drop kick. We've seen how devastating Dan Joseph can be with that short drop kick. Just ask Levi Shapiro. Yeah, just like a 12 oh, gauge. Wow. Speak of the devil. Caught him with the instant replay. Is out on his feet. Now the backstabber. New champion. New champion to be crowned if he can roll him into the cover. Joseph does. Here we go. No, not yet. I thought Dan Joseph was going to have some more gold around his waist. Not quite done yet is Ray Rosas, and that's the thing that we have seen a lot of him in you know, Ray's most recent matchups is that tenacity, that resilience. He does not go quietly. That arm really still hurting there. I mean, he's almost keeping it close, bracing it with his body. Uh, you know, I don't know if he'll be able to hit that long way down that he puts so many away with, but adrenaline can do wonders, and the champion sent to the outside. Oh, no, right here. That... That's a disqualification. You went over the top. Mental mistake. No, it's the call by the official. It's a long-standing rule here in the United Wrestling Network, that traditional rule of Ladies the over-the-top rope disqualification. In accordance with championship wrestling rules, Dan Joseph threw Ray Rosas over the top rope. Thus, this match is a disqualification victory and still Arizona State Champion, oh, no. Ray Rosas. Dan yeah, Joseph, Ray something, is, something is wrong with Dan Joseph. What is He's snapping out there. It's, we've seen this movie before. He, it's boiling over. He's, he's not able to con contain oh. himself. He, he's getting in the face of the He lost his cool. He's, he's lost his cool and he's taken the title. To, speaking of championships, the Hollywood Heritage title on the line next week. Slade defends, but absconding with the title. And, and folks, we're, we're told something's going on in the back. Dan Joseph making a rare mental mistake, costing him his shot at the Arizona State Championship. It, it left him just, I mean, completely incensed, and he left with that Arizona State Championship. I don't know what is going through Dan Joseph's mind, but speaking of leaving, timeless Levi Shapiro, my broadcast partner, conspicuous by his absence, clearly he is still reeling from Jack Cartwright's shock the world pinfall on him. We'll have to see what the fallout of that is coming up next week on Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.